Hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB 24-7. And guys, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the revised PSL targets by the Reserve Bank of India. This is very important news for all of us. And we are going to discuss about the fifth BRICS cultural ministers meeting. And also we are going to discuss about the business reforms action plan, the ranking of the states and some other important PIB news also. So do watch the complete session and spread the knowledge. So let's start with question number one, which is about the revised PSL guidelines that was released by Reserve Bank of India. And the question is, which of the following are included as fresh categories which are eligible for finance under priority sector in the guidelines? In which of the categories are which fresh categories are introduced in the newly introduced uh, PSL guidelines? Okay. Now guys, what are these priority sectors? What are priority sectors? Ka matlab kya hota hai? So guys, there are some sectors in our country which are uh, very important for the development of the basic needs of our country. Our basic needs are to fulfill some sectors that need to develop. And these sectors are known as the priority sector. And for example, agriculture sector is the priority sector in our country. Health sector is the priority sector. Education is the priority sector. MSME is the priority sector. So these, there are some, these are some examples of the priority sector in our country. And Priority sector lending के अंतर क्या होता है कि जो RBI है, Reserve Bank of India उन्होंने mandate किया हुआ है to all the scheduled commercial banks, जितने भी scheduled commercial banks हैं, जितने भी foreign banks हैं, जितने भी small finance bank हैं, उन सभी के पास mandate है कि वो अपने lending का कुछ हिस्सा priority sector को ही lend करेंगे, alright? So all scheduled commercial bank, foreign banks, small finance bank, cooperative banks, so all of these banks are mandated to uh, give loans to uh, are mandated to provide some percentage of their loans to the priority sector only. Okay, so this is about the priority sector lending. And recently, RBI has released the revised PSL guidelines, and these revised guidelines will align with the emerging national priorities, and also it will bring sharper focus on inclusive development because our country's priorities are changing. Like for example, we are heading towards the uh, renewable energy sources. And we are, because uh, uh, COVID is also out of COVID, so our priorities have changed because of technological development, our country's priorities have changed. So keeping in, this, keeping in mind all these priorities, RBI has revised these guidelines. Okay. And the fresh categories is introduced in this, there are three fresh categories. Number one is the banking finance to startup up to rupees 50 crores, loans to farmers for installation of solar power plants for solarization of grid connected agricultural farms. And now, you don't have to confuse me. Agriculture is already a PSL uh, target under the PSL guidelines. But now, the, there will be, uh, in addition to this, uh, the loans will be provided to the farmers for installation of solar power plants for solarization of grid connected agricultural from. And this step will help farmers to motivate for motivate uh, 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 for installation of solar power plants in their fields and. This will help government of India to achieve the target of 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by the year 2020. And the loans for setting up of compressed biogas plants will also be provided under the newly introduced revised guidelines of the PSL. Other than this, the health infrastructure is in the health care facilities that has been doubled now and it has been uh, now is and it has been increased to 10 crore. Okay, it has been increased to 10 crore, it has been doubled. For building healthcare facilities and under the renewable energy categories, bank loans will now be provided up to rupees 30 crores to borrowers for purposes like solar based and biomass based power generators, windmills, non conventional energy based public utilities, etc. But if we talk individual households, ki baat karenge, the loan limit will be rupees 10 lakh per borrower. All right. So these are some guys revised guidelines. And if we talk about the priority sector lending, I have told you that these are the sectors which the RBI and government of India consider as important for the development of basic needs. All scheduled commercial banks and foreign banks with more than 20 branches in our country are mandated to set aside the 40% of their adjusted net bank credit for lending to this sector. Apne adjusted net bank credit ka 40% jo hai, wo sare commercial banks or foreign banks with more than 20 branches in India, unko 40% jo hai, wo priority sectors ko dena hota hai. And regional rural banks, cooperative banks, and small finance banks have to allocate 75% of their A and DC to the priority sector lending. Okay. And now let's move on to the question. Question is, uh, which of the following are included as fresh categories? So startup, installation of solar power plants, setting up of compressed biogas plants. All one, two, three are included. So therefore, the correct answer should be what? Option C, one, two, and three only. Now let's move on to question number two. 
So in the recently held fifth BRICS culture ministers meeting, which of the following suggestion was not given by India to strengthen the cultural cooperation with the BRICS? So BRICS, guys, I hope you all know this. It was formalized as BRIC in the year 2006, and it became BRICS: Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa in the year 2010. Which means South Africa joined the group of BRIC in the year 2010, and hence the group become BRICS. Okay. And so, these five rich countries ka aapko naam samajh mein aagra hoga Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. All right. And recently, fifth BRICS culture ministers meeting was held through a video conferencing under the chairpersonship of Russian Federation. And in this, five countries, that means BRICS ke jo five nations hai, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the, delega uh, the delegates from all the nations participated in the meeting. And in this meeting, there were two points ke discussion kiya gaya. Number one is the impact of the COVID-19 on the cultural sphere in the BRICS countries. जो कोविड-19 का इंपैक्ट है कल्चरल स्फीयर पे क्या है एंड दूसरा रिव्यू ऑफ द पॉसिबल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ जॉइंट कल्चरल ऑनलाइन प्रोजेक्ट विद द विद इन द ब्रिक्स ब्रिक्स के अंदर आ, हम लोगों को क्या करना है जॉइंट कल्चरल ऑनलाइन प्रोजेक्ट्स चलाने हैं ताकि जो हमारी कल्चरल बेस्ड एक्टिविटीज हैं उनको कोविड की वजह से कोई भी नुकसान ना हो वो चलती रहे एज इट इज एंड दीस आर द टू सजेशंस दैट वर गिवन बाय इंडिया नंबर 1 is that वी हैव टू एक्सप्लोर द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ होस्टिंग अ डिजिटल ऑनलाइन एग्जीबिशन ऑन अ शेयर्ड थीम अंडर द कवर ऑफ ब्रिक्स अलायंस ऑफ म्यूजियम्स जो ब्रिक्स अलायंस है म्यूजियम्स का उसके स्पाइसेस के अंडर उसके अंडर वी हैव टू एक्सप्लोर पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ होस्टिंग अ डिजिटल ऑनलाइन एग्जीबिशन राइट एंड इसके अलावा वी हैव टू ओपन द वी शुड ओपन द ब्रिक्स कॉर्नर अंडर द स्पीशीज ऑफ ब्रिक्स अलायंस ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज दैट इज प्रपोज टू बी इनोग्रेटेड ड्यूरिंग इंडिया ब्रिक्स प्रेसिडेंसी इन द ईयर टू एक ब्रिक्स अलायंस ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज है जिसको इनोग्रेट किया जाएगा ड्यूरिंग इन द ईयर टू ड्यूरिंग इंडिया presidency so india suggested to open the bricks corner under the brick under the auspices of bricks alliance of libraries okay and this corner what will it do it will dis disseminate information related to the history and culture of the bricks nations okay and joint exhibition organized kiya jayega by the india ye decide kiya gaya hai in this meeting in the year 2021 2021 mein jo india ki presidency presidency hogi us samay ek joint exhibition organize kiya karaya jayega at the National Gallery of Modern Arts, New Delhi, and this exhibition will be titled as Bonding Regions and Imagining Cultural Synergies. Okay, you should uh, remember this title, Bonding Regions and Imagining Cultural Synergy will be the title of the uh, joint exhibition that is to be organized by India at National Gallery of Modern Arts in the year 2021. Okay, and the cultural cooperation among the BRICS nation, if we talk about it, so in 2018, the BRICS nation endorsed institution to institution collaboration in the form of BRICS Alliance of Museum, BRICS Alliance of Art Museum and Galleries. Or those are Satra make agreement huata on the cooperation in the field of culture between the governments of BRICS nation. Okay. A agreement those are Satra may sign kiya gaya tha on the cooperation in the field of culture. Okay. And BRICS ke baare mein guys hum sab jante hain. BRICS stand for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. BRIC foreign ministers ki meeting with the 2006 mein us samay ye formalize kiya gaya tha south africa ne isko join kiya 2010 mein and BRIC became BRICS all right and it seeks to deepen broaden and intensify the cooperation within the grouping and among the individual countries for more sustainable equitable and mutually benefit uh, beneficial development okay so this is about this news and now let's move on to the question which of the following suggestion was not given by india so hosting a digital online exhibition under the auspices of BRICS Alliance of Museum, yes, absolutely correct. Opening the BRICS corner under the auspices of BRICS Alliance of Libraries, this is also correct. So these are the two suggestions that were given by India. So third one is not one of the suggestions, therefore the correct answer is what option uh, we was not given. Yes, so option three, option C, only three will be the correct answer. And now let's move on to question number three, which is about the business reform action plan, the ranking of states which has been released recently. So the question is, what is the purpose of the business reform action plan ranking? So this fourth edition of business reform action plan ranking of states was released by the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, which is headed by Mr. Piyush Goel, who is also our railway minister. Okay, and this will help attract investment, foster healthy competition and increase the ease of doing business in each of the states in India. Is se kya hoga jo investment attract hongi? Entrepreneurship को बढ़ावा मिलेगा हमारे देश में ease of doing business होगा हर state में healthy competition बढ़ेगा competitive pricing बढ़ेगी so ये uh, basically एक business ecosystem को uh, जो है वो motivate करेगा business ecosystem को बढ़ावा देगा alright 
and the ranking of states is based on the implementation of business reform action plan that was started in the year 2015 and in, it, it includes 180 reform points which covers 12 business regulatory areas such as access to information, single window system, labor and environment etc. The ranking this time gives full weightage to the feedback from over 30,000 respondents at the ground level. This time the ranking was given feedback from over 30,000 respondents who have given their opinion about the effectiveness of the reforms. And these are the rankings. Number one is Andhra Pradesh. Always Andhra Pradesh is always generally. These are the top 10 states uh, in the ease of doing business, top performing states. So number one Andhra Pradesh, number two Uttar Pradesh, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, West Bengal and Gujarat. So these are some uh, facts about the business reform action plan. And now let's move on to question number three. So business reform action plan ranking, what is the purpose? Attract investment, yes. Foster healthy competition among states. Increasing ease of doing business in each state. Improving the business climate. So all of the above is the correct answer option E. I hope guys, you have clear all the clear And now let's move on to question number four and five. This should be question number four and this should be question number five. Yes, so question number four and five guys are based on the state of the young child in India report. Okay, the, there is a report that was uh, recently released the state of the young child in India. So now let us first discuss about this report. So this report has been released by Mobile Crutches, which is a NGO and it depicts a comprehensive account of the challenges related to the early child development in our country on a comparative analysis of public data from their 2005-06 to 2015-16. Isme basically two financial year ka data liya gaya 2005-06 or 2015-16 ka. Aur ye isme comparison kiya gaya hai ki is saal se leke is saal tak. Yani 2005-06 se 15-16 tak. Yani ki 10 saalo mein jo early child development hai. Usme kuch humare desh mein improvement hui hai ya nahi hui hai. Alright. So it, uh, it, it has, it included the data from their 2005-06 and 2015-16 and compared that is there any uh, improvement in the early child development in our country in these 10 years, right? So there are two parts in the report, the Young Child Outcomes Index and the Young Child Environmental Index. So let us first discuss about the Young Child Outcomes Index. So this index measures the health, nutrition and cognitive growth of the children in the 0 to 6 years of age group with the help of some indicators like infant mortality rates, stunting and net attendance at the primary school level. And I hope you stunting what it means. Stunting means what it means. Uh, the undergrowth basically. The child which is not growing properly is known as the stunted child. So infant mortality rate, stunting or net attendance at the primary school level in sabhi indicators ki madad se is index ko banaya gaya hai. And dozar paanch chhe aur dozar pandra sola ka jo data is mein liya gaya tha. And overall score of India is 0.585 on a scale of 0 to 1. And if you talk about the top 3 states, so Kerala, Goa and Tripura are the top 3. And Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar are the bottom 3 states in this in this ranking okay and next is the young child environmental index which helps to understand the policy and environment laborers that influence a child's well-being as a policy or as a environment jo ki ek child ke well-being ko influence karte hain ye uske bare mein hame batata hai and iske andar panch policy enablers hain jiski baat ki gayi thi that influence the child well-being number one is poverty alleviation strengthening the primary health care improving educational levels safe water supply and promotion of gender equity. So these are very general uh, policy enablers and you don't have to remember that you don't have to remember that you don't have to This is just for the sake of your information. All right. And in this case, it was constructed in 2015-16. There was no data from there 2005-06. So remember this. And in this index, Kerala, Goa, Sikkim, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh secured the top 5 position. And the overall score of India is 0.672. Okay. So this is about this index guys. Now let's move on to question number four and five. So which of the following are the parts of this report? So young child outcomes index is the part. Young child environmental index is the part. This is not the part. So therefore the correct answer is what option B only one and two. And question number five is we have to find the incorrect statement with respect to the state of the young child in India report, which has been released by mobile crutches. So it measures health, nutrition and cognitive growth of children in zero to six age. Yes. It has been constructed for 2005, 6 and 15, 16. Yes, the overall score is of India is 0.585. Yes, this is also correct. Kerala is at the top and Jharkhand is at the bottom. So the correct answer should be what option E. Education criteria is not included. So guys, education criteria was also included while making this index. So option E is the correct answer. And guys, that's it for the session today. I hope you like it. 
फॉर मोर अपडेट्स डू सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन आपको ये सेशन कैसा लगा कमेंट करके जरूर बताएं एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आल्सो आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस